Hey YouTube, it's Elena, and this is another grocery haul. And as you can see, this time I went to Mom's Organic Market. So we're going to start on this side. And this time I got some quinoa spaghetti noodles. They're gluten-free and they're made from corn flour and quinoa flour. I also got the um, Londonburg spaghetti. They're made from brown rice, so brown rice pasta. I uh, got two things of the individual milks. They're like four in a thing. Well, four in each container. So I got chocolate and vanilla. They're both full fat, so yeah. Um, then I got the Pacific Organic um, Almond Milk. This is unsweetened, which was by accident. And it, I want to keep it and taste it because my aunt told me I might actually like it unsweetened. So I don't know. I'll try it out. And if I don't like it, I just know not to buy it again. Um, got the Cascadian Farm Core, um, Concord Grapefruit Spread. Um, is this, okay, yeah, this, is, this one has fruit pectin in it. The other ones, like, had regular pectin in it, and I don't know what's really in regular pectin, so, yeah. I got some reju um, rejuvenative foods. Delicious, um, cultured, raw sauerkraut. This is sea salted, 100% organic. Um, this is vegan. So, yeah. Oh, let me give you guys the price. The pastas were, um, pasta, pasta, pasta. Um... The pasta... What's uh oh wait um three fifty was this one three twenty three twenty five and then this was two ninety nine the milks were a uh, dollar ninety nine and three sixty nine ninety six the grape jelly was two ninety nine the unsweetened milk was three ninety six. The sour card was nine ninety nine. I got some Earth Balance soy free margarine, and that was um four forty nine. I got this is a new brand of tofu, and it's called Wildwood. So yeah, um, this is super firm, and then that's regular firm, and they were three seventy nine and two nineteen. I got some pizza butter by Justin's, and this was 59 cents. I got three cookies. I got phenomenal pumpkin spice cookie, colossal chocolate chip, and double chocolate decadence. Um, these were all $1.99 each. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Um, Phone's about to die recording on my phone. Um, got the filled roast um, sausage and I got the filled roast um, deli slices. And they were the lunch meats were um two ninety nine and then the sausage was hold up um four ninety nine. Then there's the I got another um, jam spread, so, no, not jam, but I got another free spread, and that one was, um, two ninety nine as well, and then I got the Rudy's Gluten-Free Bakery Multi-Grain Bread, um, and that bread was five twenty nine. um, that's, this was my most expensive item, but I'm hoping that it's well worth it. So all together, this entire haul was $67.10. No, $67 so as always, remember to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Okay, so we got some wild rice, um, sea salt, and black sesame chips. A little thing of potatoes, some pasta sauce, and corn tortillas. Another one, just with the sea salt con. Two V8 splashes. I 
had to think of turtles. Just because I can. Adobo seasoning. Mushrooms. Yes, I have mushrooms. Sorry, I didn't mean to say it like that. And we got two jars of sweet relish. And some Luna bars. That's my brother. He got green beans, plant green beans. Um, cheese. This is like the best cheese. If I was to let those and tolerant, I would eat that. And a big can of beans. Yeah, a um, big can of regular, um, pork and beans. So, yeah, that's everything. So, one, two thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Hey, YouTube. Today, this is just um, half of my haul. Um, and it's a Target and Mom's Organic Market haul. So, we're going to start over here because... Actually, this belongs over here today. This stuff right here is from Target. And then this is from Mom's Organic Market. So, from Target, uh, a friend of mine, he actually bought me these two. Because he owed me. So, yeah. Which is... What I love, I love when people owe me stuff. I don't know about you, but I love it. So he got me the Dr. Bronner's uh, Magic Soap. This is the 18 and 1 Hemp Peppermint. I used some of this today, and oh my god, I love it. I don't know. I love the smell of peppermint because I like to eat peppermints and stuff. But my mom and my sister, they were like, oh my god, it smells like old people. And like an old folks home bathroom. I'm like, ew. Like, that's just like the worst analogy you can get for anything. But I personally like this smell. Um, and they have 18 uses. So, I mean, it's a vegetarian soap. It is cruelty free. Um, and the interesting thing about his label, um, on Netflix or um, last summer, I watched a documentary about the whole soap making process that he went through. Like, they put this man in an insane asylum. They took him from. He escaped actually, and um, some other stuff that he did. I can't actually remember. But the interesting part that I really remembered was how he came up with the packaging for this. He used to like go to different colleges and stuff and lecture at the schools, but the people would never stay for his lectures. So he came up with the concept that taking everything he had to say and putting it on his labels. So no matter where you went, you always knew what he said. So that is how he came up with the labels. And he lived by something called the Moral ABCs, um, which I actually don't remember, but like people really thought he was crazy. Like he would say some really off the wall stuff like I even thought he was crazy um but it's really just what he believed and I think he they said he was a devout Jew I think I think and I know he, he matter of fact he was a Jew because he was in the holocaust um and when they got away I think they said his his mother his father and I think his I think he had a brother I think I think everyone else in his family died and he was like the only one to survive or something like that. And he came to America to start to live the American dream, whatever that means. So this soap is actually carrying on his legacy. They are like five generations in now. So, yeah. And then I got these, the Say Yes to Cucumbers Soothing Facial Towelettes. Um, they were giving out samples one day when I was in Walmart and I tried it and it Oh my god, it worked. So, I'll probably use these at night to, like, wipe my face off. Because during, um, in the morning, I do exfoliate my face with, um, the brown sugar scrub that I did. So, yeah. And then, I also got the Pepperidge Farm Tahoe White, um, Chocolate Macadamia. These are so good. At, and they were two for five at Target. So, oh, yes. I got six, uh, I got two of them. Um. Okay, so from Mom's Market, I got six of these Santa Cruz Organic. Um, at three apple juice and lemonade, three lemonades. So yeah, and then I got the organic tempeh three grain. It's because I wanted to try a Reuben recipe by Live V. 
think it's Live V in three sixty five. I think that's the name of his channel. But I'll link him down below. He's <laughs> he's kind of funny. Um, then I got some vegan mozzarella, soy vegan slices, and I got this Mama Chia that everyone's been talking about. And I'll definitely be doing a review on this. Um, very, 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 very soon, like later today, because I'm going to drink some of this later today. Um, it's five o'clock and I think I actually need to get dinner started. I'm doing mushroom spaghetti, so...